Hi Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your November reading. Please remember this is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. It's also timeless and it's not gender specific. Because time and energy is fluid, it means the energies can be switched. So please do bear that in mind if you're cross watching. But because this is Scorpio's reading, I will be addressing them. It can easily be in reverse though, so always use your own discernment. You take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't. I cannot censor, choose nor control what's coming out of the cards. I'm literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it. You do have free will. Tarot is not in charge, you are. For everything else, please always read the descriptions box. Okay, so now that all of that's out of the way let's get into your reading for you Scorpio and we'll see what energies you're dealing with in the month of November and also as well happy birthday I'm rubbish at saying happy birthday in videos I will try and get um I will try and get better at it right so you've got the golden unicorn protector guardian and champion interesting right so you get three messages that come with oracle cards as i always say you get your first message that comes from the creator of the deck your second message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card hopefully you can see that okay and then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition and i, th I just find it really important that you get as much information as you possibly can Everyone deserves to have another person in their life to whom they can turn to for protection and care. When this card comes for you, the golden unicorn is showing you the path to a person, an advisor or mentor who will assist you through the challenges that you're now facing. When the golden unicorn appears, it is a beacon of hope. For with the right guidance, what seems to be impossible can be achieved and you'll no longer feel so raw, vulnerable and unable to go on. The golden unicorn appears to those who are facing unjust circumstances. They will show you step by step how to get through this time. When it seems that all friends have fallen away and the world is no longer a safe place, they lead with reason, intelligence and intuitive brilliance. With their guidance, you will come to a safe place within the world and be wiser in choices regarding friendships, alliances part and partnerships. You're a lot wiser now and will never be quite so hurt again. There is now a protective energies about you and it's safe for you to leave the current circumstances and create a new path. The judgment you have sensed about you will now dissipate and true good people enter your life to help heal the pain of friendships that have fallen. That's deep really really deep um intuitively scorpio what i'm getting with this card is really really 50 50 okay some of you are the mentor some of you are the golden unicorn and others of you this is someone else who is recently in your life or is about to enter into your life and collectively I'm getting a strong vibe of uh, divine guidance and protection with this one. Massively so. Whichever side of the fence you're sitting at for this, you're still being divinely guided and protected. As a side message, Scorpio, either you are wanting to speak to someone or someone is desperately wanting to speak to you. Massively. Um, I'm going to have to edit out all of these coughs that I'm getting in between sentences. It's like my throat feels really, really tight and restricted. It's like something wants to come out, but it, it doesn't know how to, how to find the words. It's that. Really, really um, interesting energies. Um, for those of you where it feels like everything has been a trial, and you're a Scorpio, that's pretty much your entire life. Um, this energy, you're being built up here for something. And there, there's going to be an opportunity for you to use your past experiences to help others. Okay, so... Um, 
really heavy way to begin your read. So I'm going to start pulling the tarot and we'll see what else comes out of that for you. How is Scorpio showing up in the world in November, please? How's Scorpio showing up in the world? Okay, I'll take the top one as well because that one did a jump. Right, so you've got the Ace of Swords, that's Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Sun, so that's, that's Leo Energy, the Page of Coins, that's Earth, that's uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then the Two of Wands, um, that's Aries Energy. Okay, loads going on here. Um, I'm going to try and keep this reading as simple as I can. Usually in these reads, they tend to branch out off out in a few different directions. So I'm going to try and narrow this down. Um, the direction that your life is taking, Scorpio, there, there is a breakthrough here, right? You've got a brand new beginning at, at life in general. I was going to say something, but then you've got the golden unicorn card. Um, there's a breakthrough here. You've been faced with a lot of restrictions and setbacks. No more is that going to be the case, not with this particular combination. And you do have a truth and a clarity here that's coming through with the Ace of Swords. This is someone who I'm getting with this one. There's a conversation, right? And I'll be honest with you, I've never really paid attention to that swan before. But now that's literally the only thing that I can see in that card. Fair enough, yeah, most of the sword is covered up by that leaf, but that's not the reason why. There's something here about a life partner. For those of you who are single, this golden unicorn is your uh, future life partner. Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please, for Scorpio? Huh. The strength. Leo energy. Very heavy Leo energy. There's a strong bond here that you have with someone in particular. And it's been a really difficult situation. Um, I keep going back to that first oracle card because th there's been a reason for all of this playing out in the way that it has. And the reasons that are going to be personal to you, you're going to be enlightened to these reasons very, very soon. Why is a page of coins here, please? There's some kind of offer here with that page. Also, Okay, High Priestess, Moon Energy. Um, I was about to say with the Page of Coins energies, that can be about uh, higher learning. It can also be good news when it comes to uh, finding out if you've got a job or if you've got the house. Um, it's a brand new direction in your life and you've got a breakthrough here because for the longest time you've had to wait and wait and wait to hear about this life-changing thing that you had planned with the two of wands. You're getting a breakthrough with that as well. And with the high priestess being here, for some of you this is um, higher learning about spirituality and you've been tapping in to your spiritual gifts. You've been learning more about them. Um, I'm getting ethics here with this as well. So you've been making sure that you're, you're following the right sort of ethics and just, just making sure that you're keeping things on the, on the straight and narrow. For some of you, you might have found some kind of like spiritual mentor. You might have done. Okay. Where love is involved, um, this is that situation coming to light. It was kept secret. 
It's like some, someone wasn't verbalising their feelings. And that's coming through here as well. What's the outside influences effect in Scorpio, please, in November? Thank you. Outside influences. I have one more, please. Okay, five. Right, so it was that one, then that one, and that one. Right. So five of wands is Leo, Queen of Swords is Libra, the magician. The magician is Mercury, so that can be Virgo or Gemini. The Ten of Swords is Gemini, and then the Queen the Queen of Wands is Aries. We've got two queens here as your outside influence. So for some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. Could be, doesn't have to be. Um, there's been gossip here as one of your outside influences. There's been some kind of ruckus that's happened within a, a group of friends. There's been gossip, there's been slander. You found out about this and you told every single one of them to do one, basically. You've removed yourself from viciousness within a group of friends. You've cut them off, you've cut them out. Um, they were really low vibe energies really really low it's like they had nothing better to do other than involve themselves in your business and to talk badly behind your back but you found out about this though because you're a scorpio that that's what you do you you find things out um we've got the magician and the ten of swords so the magician is about manifesting uh, communication. It's also about being flexible. I was reminded recently that it's also all of the four aces in one card, right? Um, so you are heading towards a brand new life here. Outside or without that group of individuals that were causing nothing but trouble for you. You've left them in the past because th there was too much backstabbing, there was too much betrayal, th there was just too much hurt. It was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It's like you couldn't do anything around those people without them having something bad to say about it. Even when you were doing well for yourself with the magician, they still had something nasty to say. So instead of retaliation, you haven't retaliated. You've simply removed yourself from them. And then Queen of Wands. Confidence. Finding your feet, being busy. Some of you could be busy with multiple projects, um, but it's busy with a purpose, with the Queen of Wands. It's also, you're being viewed here by someone as being very mysterious with the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess energies as well. Um, the Queen of Wands is, is like that sexy, mysterious person. You know, the, the, the person that, Everybody wants to get to know, but only a very select few will ever get to know on an intimate level. That's the Queen of Wands. You're being viewed here as the Queen of Wands, and you're also being viewed as you do not put up with any BS, any. If there's even one whiff of history repeating itself here, then you cut them out straight away. This, I'm feeling that this is someone from that group there 
within that five of wands. This is one of them that is reflecting on the part that they played into where the situation is right now in November. Why is the five of wands? Thank you. The magician in reverse. Okay, so manipulation. I don't like that card in reverse. It's it just makes the hairs on the back of my neck go all weird um, because it's straight up manipulation. It can be gaslighting as well. So I'm getting a strong vibe of jealousy that these individuals were speaking badly of you because they didn't want you to succeed. They said that you couldn't do it. And guess what? You have and you are doing it right. They're speaking or they were speaking badly through their own jealousy. Why is ten of swords? Thank you. OK, so we've got the three of coins as Capricorn energy. Um, I think it's Mars in Capricorn. So this could have played out in a work place or it could have played out in um, a setting of education. Right. So like a school, a college, a university, that sort of thing, because the three of coins is all about teamwork, collaboration, project building. So we're seeing here that this situation, you were expected to carry the weight of everybody else while while they were slandering you. That's nice, isn't it? I just clean the ones here, please. Five of Cups, Scorpion Energy. There you go. Boom. Someone being regretful, remorseful. In fact, this is someone who is actually disgusted with themselves here, Scorpio, for the way that they were treating you. You carried the weight of these. And that, that was your payback to be stabbed in the back, to be betrayed, to be talked badly of. N none of these stood up for you. Nobody defended you. You caught wind of it, you cut them off, and now you've got one of these individuals who is absolutely disgusted with themselves. There, there's a wish here that they could turn back time, that they could start again. What's the outcome of this, please, the Scorpio? Whoa, okay. Right, so you've got the Emperor in reverse as Aries energy. You've got the Knight of Swords in reverse as Gemini. You've got the Hierophant in reverse as Taurus. You've got the Four of Coins in reverse as Capricorn. You've got the Eight of Swords upright as Gemini and the Nine of Swords upright as Gemini. Right, so there's progress, okay. Um, now, obviously, I don't know who this one individual is that is disgusted with themselves for, for having not defended you, for having not um, seen through the maliciousness that was going on. I don't know who that is, but you'll know because this is your story, if it's resonating. <clears throat> This is someone who um, they quite possibly abused their power with the emperor being in reverse. OK, they probably uh, played up to the audience and went along with the crowd instead of defending you because they felt that it was easier. Um, what we're seeing here is at one point you you're like some kind of scapegoat here or some kind of underdog that everyone else was kicking. Nobody was defending. And you have evolved from that and you've 
you haven't stopped evolving. You've been on the up and the up and the up continuously until all that's left of these individuals is because you're so high up now, they look like little specks of sand, just completely like they're, they're that far away from you, if that makes sense. This is someone who has been literally stuck in their head about how they how they're going to reach out to you. So we've got them here for the longest time. As I've said, they, they've been overthinking the situation. They've been analysing everything. They've been stuck in their head trying to figure out what they're going to say, how they're going to say it, when they're going to say it. And in fact, what we're seeing in your outcome is they are going to be approaching you really impulsively with the Knight of Swords being in reverse because that's someone with half of a plan basically now the the emperor energies for some this could be someone that you've had children with with it being the emperor energy it could be someone that uh, you divorced because it's in reverse it could be someone that you used to work with who was in charge because it's the emperor that's like the boss the manager the supervisor it's that kind of energy and for others of you this could be um if if that was playing out in like a school or a college then this is like a teacher or a head teacher or it's anyone of any kind of authority basically they either misuse their power or they didn't use their power when they should have done right so we've got really impulsive action here towards you scorpio and they're, they're laying everything out basically because they're they're they're, they're breaking some kind of rule in order to uh, reach out to you, right? Hierophant reverse, the four of coins in reverse. Both of these are about rules and restrictions. Um, it, it's red tape, right? Think of it like that. With them being in reverse, this is this person. They're going totally against tradition. They are throwing out the rule book and they're making a beeline straight towards you. And there is progression here because you're going from the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. We did see the Ten of Swords as well. So you were extremely, extremely hurt by this situation. And now they're feeling some of that pain that you were put through. Emperor and the Knight of Swords. Why is this here, please, for Scorpio? Thank you. Right, the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energies. So, yeah, even the thought of that person straight away makes you go, nope, nope, don't care. I, I don't want to hear about them. They've got nothing new to say to me. I'm not interested. Straight away, your guards are going to go up. And that's why they're coming in the way that they are towards you in the hope that you're not going to have time to put your guards up. Four of coins, Hierophant. Why is this here, please? Thank you. The ten of coins, Virgo energy. Um, it's a card of it's very traditional energies as well. It's really... Um, bizarre so much strictness and tradition with the individual that you're dealing with scorpio the hierophant the four of coins the ten of coins the ten of coins is like family traditions it's um it can be someone who is quite financially well off someone who's focused on family um, it's like a generational card. Someone's going against their, their generational traditions. Because their traditions have kept them trapped. 
that their traditions have kept them from treating you correctly. Hmm, huh. that's weird. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, why is this here, please? They, they do hope to pursue a long-term situation with you, though, with that Ten of Coins. It's almost as if they're hoping to uh, build brand new traditions uh, with you. Ah, okay. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Three of Cups is Cancerian, and then the Queen of Coins is Capricorn Energy. So, yeah, um, for some of you, yeah, this, this is a, a love romantic situation where the person you were dealing with, they were allowing their their rule book it now th this this could be anything okay th this could be their religious beliefs this could be their their workplace and um, the the position that they hold in society anything anything that uh, can be frowned upon by others that's the rule book that your person is literally throw into the roadside and saying fuck it i do not give a shit anymore i want my scorpio and i i i'm walking away from all of this i've had enough i'm gonna fight and i'm gonna get scorpio back i need to i need to do this and why because they're in love with you and they always have been lovers the three of cups and the queen of coins they see you as very grounded, secure, independent. Again, cards in tarot are not gender specific. The Queen of Coins can easily be a masculine. I'm just going to pause a second because that's the door. So yeah, it's just the energies that we're reading, okay? So uh, it's never a good idea to get too hung up on gender. Um, but this is a reunion here. And it's showing me that this individual's intention towards you, while it started off a bit dodgy, admittedly, right, really, really dodgy. It's like you, you didn't know where you stood with them. Um, that there was no indications of them being loyal towards you. There was no indications of them having your back, that there was none of this, right? This is showing me that this individual, they are going to fight for you. They're going to fight for this reunion to get this uh, romance back on track or on track. With the Queen of Coins energies, and it's come out with the Ten of Coins, this person's intention towards you is to, to be committed to you. To, to marry you they see you as a soulmate and where i said with your first card coming out it's very 50 50. if you're the mentor or if a mentor is coming into your life and i felt it then uh, i'm feeling it even stronger now that for the most part scorpio you have been the spiritual mentor for this individual. You have shown them a brand new way of living outside of this, of these restrictions that they had been bound to. You've shown them uh, what a free spirit is. You've shown them a brand new way of life, a happy way of life. It's like this is someone who was so caught up in shame, in uh, rules, other people's rules, and um, that they weren't allowed to live in their true authenticity. You've come into, into their life, or they came into yours, either way, um, and you've completely destroyed everything that they once thought was true and real. You've destroyed it simply by being you. Just, just by being your true authentic self. It's like you have shattered the illusions of what life is, like the meaning of life for this individual. And they 
fought against it for so, so long. They even somehow managed to backstab and betray you in the process. And what I'm looking at here is this person is coming back to you, explaining everything. And it's like the freedom that is going to be felt on both sides of the table after this reunion is just absolutely immense. The current blockage, the Page of Cups, um, okay, so Page of Cups is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I had to think there for a moment because I felt someone crying, uh, so I had to just breathe. Um, it, is, it is a really dramatic read, I know. Um, this is an apology, it's an olive branch, it's good intentions. The blockage is basically this one being so stoic and restricted and stuck. They were unable to, um, to drop the ego, basically, and to give you the apology that was overdue. And there you go, under there, the devil, Capricorn energy. There's... Again, it's, it's another card of uh, a very strong tie, a strong bond. It can be really restrictive, right? Because it's come out with the Page of Cups, this isn't someone who is a toxic individual. This is just someone who is bound and restricted by other things that's going on outside of them. And that's why it's showing up as the devil. And remembering uh, in traditional tarot, the devil and the lovers is actually the same card. Um, I think I think I showed it on camera before a couple of months ago because it came out then as well. Um, but it indicates that there is a really strong connection here with this individual. And it's like no matter the, the physical distance between you, you're always connected, always. And it's like the spiritual lesson that your person had to go through. It pertains to them being their true authentic self, being a, a little bit more vulnerable, um, just being not who they used to be, being who they were always supposed to be. Uh, and then the King of Wands under there, that's Leo energy taking action, having confidence to take action towards their passion and their desire. There's a really, really strong bond and a really, really strong love here between you. Interesting. Okay, so if you've made it this far into the reading, then please do consider giving me a cheeky wee like, a subscribe or even a comment. Maybe even all three if you're feeling really, really generous. And thank you so much to all of those who've already supported my channel. It genuinely does mean the, the absolute world to me, so thank you. And clarify this read for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Friendship. True friends, a solid friendship, authentic, would do anything for you, always there no matter what. I'm feeling that you were always there for that individual and they never saw it. They only realised it after you went Queen of Swords on them. Teasing, flirtatious, having a crush, playing, having fun, keeping it airy, enjoying each other and joking around. Yeah, I'm feeling that's very much um, the energies that you that you both have to look forward to. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union, passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy. Yeah, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. Um, yeah talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, can be hoovering if it comes out in reverse, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, and camera, reminiscing, keepsake perception, learning from the past and making memories. I'm going to struggle to clarify further on, 
literally all of those cards, Scorpio, because we saw every single one of those things mentioned in these black cards already in your tarot. Every single one of them. This situation isn't done. It isn't over. It's not finished. Not by a long shot. In fact, Scorpio, this, this connection has only just started. This is just the start of it. But um, it's going to be a lot better the next time round as well. It's going to run a lot smoother um, because your person's learnt. Whatever soul lesson they needed to go through, it's, it has been learnt. So Scorpio, please. Oh. Okay. Right. It says, a new day is dawning for you. Your past will cease to have any hold over you. Indicates the beginning stages of a profound spiritual transformation or an upgrade. Enter the Garden of Delights. Now, uh, Libra just literally just had that card out. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra as well. Your past has no hold over you anymore. And the individual that you're dealing with is learning to put things in their past and for, for those people, places, things that were restricting them to no longer have the power over them that up until this point they have allowed that to control them. Massive transformation here, huge. Where should Scorpio's focus be, please, for the month of November? Okay. Surprise in a way that you wouldn't expect. A gift from the universe, intense, a twist of fate, an eclipse news. Yeah, a twist of fate. You thought this situation was over, done, dusted, buried, forgotten about, yada, yada, yada. Nope. Nah, -uh. it's not over. And in this particular case, it's not over until, until the universe sings. And they're bringing this back in. Whatever this is for you, it, it's um, very, very unexpected. Scorpio, please. Okay. Feminine energy. Right. Okay. So again, you get your three messages. So if you take a moment to look at the card and see what feelings and emotions it pulls up for you, what aspects of the card are really jumping for you as well. Darkness, the moon, the tides, the quiet gestation before the chaos, the void. These are all aspects of feminine energies, passive waiting, gestating and nurturing. It is the opposite of the prior card, so very different, yet the perfect companion. Perhaps you have yet to find your feminine side. The life that you're leading right now has given opportunities to embrace this part of you. But between the two opposing energies, the feminine energy is the hardest to embrace. It requires trust and lack of fear. Trust that all is as it should be in the absence of the fear of things not getting done. Perhaps in the past you'd been hurt when you, when you were embracing your feminine energy, either physically or mentally. This was the free will of the person that hurt you and it was not caused by being who you were. Do not let the actions of another dictate who you need to be. Examine your feminine side and become friends with her again. Alternately, this card represents an important woman in the seeker's life. So for some of you, you were dealing with a feminine, a divine feminine energies. And for others of you, you are the divine feminine energies. Um, this is your person coming to terms with the need to be more vulnerable, which again, that's another repeating message from your tarot. Your focus, what you need to remember is you don't control the way that others treat you, right? You have got 
little to no influence over that, right? Because the way that others treat you is on them. How long you allow that energy to stay in your life for, that is the bit that you can control. So do not blame yourself for things that have played out here that was beyond your control, right? And also, don't allow um, the incidences that have played out in your past to, uh, to make you shut down emotionally. Okay, that was a really, really bad shuffle. There we go. So Scorpio, please. Thank you. A blessing in a relationship. Again, Libra had that one as well. A current relationship is reflecting something that's wounded inside of you, a wound from long ago, perhaps even from a past life. Look within, find a part of you that's wounded and send it love. All will heal and you'll be stronger and wiser for it. Yeah. Um, this particular situation you have definitely triggered each other into spiritual growth, right? Oops. So it might be beneficial for whoever this read is resonating for, uh, the, the Scorpio and the Cross Watcher, to investigate the root cause as to why that particular relationship is triggering you. Where is the root cause for the original injury? Right, so for those of you who are easily offended at swearing, then your read has ended now. Thank you very, very much for watching. And for those of you who don't give a shit, then this is the Rebel deck. This is the Oracle deck that I always end the beginning of the month reads with, so it doesn't show up mid-month in love reads, for example. It's very brutal. It can be quite offensive. And it works in exactly the same way where it's for the viewers to decide what side of the table that they're sitting up every single card that comes out. So it's all still completely interchangeable. Okay. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. You think someone's lying. They are. Drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. You're giving away your power. You're a badass. Act like it. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You're a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your own shit. And you're being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Um, right. Quite a few cards there for the individual that you're dealing with. Um, Scorpio, right now I'm getting a strong impression that you just want to be left alone like right now. You you cannot be bothered dealing with anyone else's bullshit, right? You haven't got the time or the energy for it. You're feeling really cynical as well. Really, really cynical because you're used to people lying to you and giving you all of this crap. You, you've become accustomed to it now and you're being asked to do a really, really brave thing here with this divine feminine energy. And it's to allow yourself that love and that hope and that peace. It's to allow yourself a break from the cynicism. And then these ones are for the individual that you're dealing with. You're being shady, drop the ego. It's not everyone else's fault. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Scorpio. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.